Hey there, viewers. Are you sure you sit and stand in the correct posture? You might think posture is not all that important, but the reality is poor posture can give you back and neck pain, headaches, and poor balance. You can even get heartburn and breathing difficulties. In today's video, we're going to discuss simple exercises that help improve your posture and reduce back pain. How do you do quadruped thoracic rotations? What's an open shoulder exercise? We'll be discussing all of these and more. Number one, quadruped thoracic rotations. If you spend a lot of time at a desk, you're probably not sitting in the proper posture. This is why people working desk jobs tend to have back pain on a regular basis. But there are a few exercises you can do on a regular basis to alleviate this kind of pain. One of the exercises is quadruped thoracic rotations. For this, you will need to get on all fours. Once in position, put one of your hands behind your head. Your other hand should be in front of you on the floor. The hand you have behind your head, bring that elbow towards the floor, then rotate the elbow in the direction of the ceiling. Afterwards, rotate your head in the same direction you've been moving the elbow in. You can do this set between 45 seconds to a full minute. When you finish one round, change your hands and do the same exercise. You can do this a number of times to make sure your back pain is reduced. Number 2. Band Over and Back for this exercise, you will need the help of an elastic band. If you don't have an elastic band, you can use a towel. Whatever you've chosen, hold it straight in front of you. Make sure you have an overhand grip while staying in a standing position. Once in position, pull the band as far as you can on either side. This will create tension in the band. After you generate tension, raise it up and put it behind your back. Now the stretched band is behind you. Do this for 45 seconds. Number three, open shoulders. For this exercise, you will need to stand straight. Just keep your feet at a distance so they're shoulder length apart. Your arms need to be straight and placed alongside your body. Make sure your back remains straight. Once you're in this position, raise the arms towards your sides. While doing this, you'll also need to open your chest rather than keep it closed in. Now, bring your arms together in front of you so that they're on top of each other. Essentially, your right arm will go towards your left and your left arm will move towards your right. You will bring them together until your elbows meet each other. When you're doing this, you'll feel your shoulder blades putting in work. You can keep repeating the exercise by crossing your arms for about 45 seconds to a minute. Number four, squat and reach. For this exercise, you'll need to get into a squatting position. Once you're in a deep squat, cross your hands and touch your feet on opposite sides. This way, your right hand would be touching your left foot while the left hand would be touching the right. Once in position, raise your right hand up and bring it back down. While raising the arm, make sure your head also follows the arm as it goes up. Do this for 45 seconds and then shift to the other arm. Go through the same process for another 45 seconds. If you love exercising, you'll enjoy this workout routine that can transform your body in just a short span of time. Check out six exercises that can transform your body in just four weeks. Number five, upper back cat stretch. For this exercise, you will need a foam ball. If you don't have one, a simple pillow will do. To start the exercise, you need to kneel on the floor while keeping your hips aligned with your heels. While in this position, your forearms will need to be on the foam ball. Once in position, you will need to round your middle back up. Then begin to breathe in and breathe out. While you're breathing out, arch your chest in a downward direction towards the floor. You will end up making an arch-like shape. Once you're in this position, you will feel tension in your mid-back. If you end up feeling the tension in your lower back, you're not in the correct position. In these situations, you need to move your butt closer to your heels. This way, you'll feel the tension in the right area. You can do this 8 to 12 times every set. You should also do this full set around 2 to 3 times a day. This way, you can decrease your back pain. Number 6. Foam Roll Angels for this exercise, you will need the help of a foam roll or cushion. Lie on your back on this foam roll. While in position, your hands should be to your side, with your palms pointing upwards. Now lower your chin to tuck it in. This way you can lengthen the back of your neck. Once there, you will need to pull your ribs in the downward position. When you do that, your lower back will need to be completely flat on the cushion. Make sure that your abdomen is not tense while you're in this position. Once in the position, begin breathing in and out slowly. You can continue doing this anywhere up to 20 minutes. While doing this, you should be able to feel your shoulders drop to the floor. While your chest and shoulders are relaxing, you can move your arms higher, but at a slow speed. Make sure your forearms remain on the floor at all times. Number seven, wing fly up. 
With this exercise, you will need to stand on your feet. Keep the feet at a width equal to your shoulders. Make sure your knees are bent slightly and bend them forward. While leaning forward, your back should still remain flat. Once in this position, look at the floor while making sure your head remains straight. Now lift your arms towards your side while bending them near your elbows. Also squeeze the shoulder blades while doing this. You will now need to move your arms to the front of your chest. Repeat this exercise while squeezing your shoulder blades as if you're flying through the air. You can do this for 45 seconds to a minute. Number 8. Extending in the chair this is one exercise you can do while you're sitting down. This means you can do it anytime you want, even while you're at your desk working. Mind you, it might be a little awkward doing it in front of your coworkers, so choose your time wisely. While you're sitting on the chair, put your hands behind your head. Once in that position, spread your elbows. While doing this, you should also focus on extending the upper back portion of your body. You can lean back as well as stretch your spine. You can do this exercise whenever you get tired of sitting and want to stretch a bit. It's especially useful in places where there isn't much space to walk. In these cases, this particular exercise would be perfect. Number 9. Child's Pose Child's Pose is a fun and relaxing exercise you can do in between your work breaks. It stretches and lengthens your spine, glutes, and hamstrings. This wonderful exercise will also release the tension in your neck and lower back. Here's how you do it. Sit on your shin bones while keeping your knees together. Your big toes should be touching with your heels spread out to the side. Now fold forward at the hips. Walk your hands out in front of you. Sink your hips back down towards your feet. Finding it impossible for your thighs to go all the way down? Don't worry. You can place a pillow or folded blanket under your thighs for support. Now gently place your forehead on the floor or turn your head to one side. Keep your arms extended or rest them along your body. Make sure you breathe deeply so you feel it in the back of your rib cage and waist. Hold this child's pose for up to five minutes and relax. Continue breathing deeply. You should be feeling the tension leaving your body. Exercising on the regular can help relieve a lot of pain. Would you like to learn about other workouts that can help you? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more exercise related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out 7 Reasons Why Your Back Is Hurting. You should also watch 9 exercises that will get rid of your double chin in one week. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn more about exercise and fitness. Are you planning on including any of these exercises in your daily workout routine? Let us know in the comments below.